So, we're back for another BGC guide, and this time we are looking at Gastrodon. Use the blue one. The pink one is terrible. Why would you ever use this one? Use the blue one. People have forgotten about this Pokemon. This is a two-time world champion, and no one's using it. And Dondozo's everywhere, and this is a brilliant Dondozo counter. So why aren't people using it? I'm not really sure, because then you get Close Mog, you get Storm Drain, so the Wave Crash is useless, you turn into a Fairy, so the Order Up is useless, so they're resorting to either just Earthquake or Terror Blast, and that's not strong enough to break through you, because you'll just Clear Smog them on that turn, and then they can no longer break through the Gastrodon, because you'll just recover, and then slowly chip them away with Earth Power until you do win. And then the partner next to Gastrodon will also be able to chip away at the Dondozo. So yeah, this is a brilliant, brilliant Dondozo counter. If you really want to commit to it, then run Air Balloon. D d don't do that, it's not worth. Just because you're the perfect Dondozo counter doesn't mean that it's worth it. So I would say that Citrus Berry is probably the best item on this kind of set, because then you're making use of your high base HP, which should be max HP. Annihilate has a base 110 HP. That is the maximum Annihilate HP. That is one more than Annihilate's HP. So you will survive a final gambit from Annihilate if you are max HP. So Gastrodon should always be max HP in my opinion now. Because there's, I think there's about 20 Pokemon that survive the final gambit, give or take, and about five relevant ones that survive the final gambit. So those five relevant ones should survive the final gambit if they can help it. Gastrodon being one of them, so it should. Uh, and then the defenses on the uh, special side, it survives a Sylveon Hyper Voice into a throat sprayed hyper voice. So the first one will do maximum 40% or yeah, just under 40%. And then the second one will do just under 60%. So then you'll be able to survive the combination of the two. You'd be able to clear smog uh, the throat spray away and then you'd be able to recover uh, so that they're only doing 40%. So you do eventually win the 1v1 that way as well. Uh, and then the defenses is, is for, I believe it's two life orb uh, ground terror uh, Garchomps. Factoring in the citrus berry is not a, K is not a two hit KO. So. Uh, and then you just get to have Modest as your um, nature just for a little boost in your special attack. Because you're quite pathetic if you go not with a boosting nature. But that actually boosting nature is a significant increase to the Earth powers. Like now you'll get some two hit KOs on super effective hits that you wouldn't have done otherwise. Uh, so that is quite nice. Uh, Helping Hand is a move that Gastron now gets. So it's not just going to be incredibly passive and sit on the field occasionally chipping and just sitting there being a Storm Drain bot. Helping Hand's going to help out with the damage output. So that is quite significant for Gastrodon. Like, people have just run Yawn in the past, and that helps it not be passive, and that's perfectly fine as well. You can definitely get away with running Yawn over this. But I want to try out the new toy and Helping Hand on um, Gastron, because I think that could be quite nice in stopping it from being super passive. So, yeah, Helping Hand is going to be quite nice. But there are a couple of other alternatives. You can run a Stockpile set for sure, because uh, then you are going to make yourself very much unkillable, and that is kind of the point of Gastron, because if you Stockpile up, they may not be able to break you anymore. And then Lefties is slightly better on the um, than Citrus Berry in that regard, because you're intending to sit on the field for more than four turns. So then you'd get more recovery from the Lefties. you still got the Earth Power and the Clear Smog as coverage. So you, you're having Clear Smog as your coverage move to hit Flying Touch rather than Ice Beam, uh, because you still want to be able to counter Dondozo and set up. So uh, this this isn't just for Dondozo as well. Like if you've got the stockpile set, they can't set up to be able to break through you because you'll just Clear Smog them. So uh, that is quite nice. So same movie spread, still going to do exactly the same things. You're just going to slowly chip away at them with the Earth Powers while you just can't be KO'd by Stockpiles, which is quite nice. So, um, yeah, you can you go a bit more offensive if you want it, and this was something that I spotted, because Scald is no longer an option on Gastrodon, and if you did want a water move, you have to resort to either Muddy Water or Hydro Pump. Either of them are fine, but I'm a coward. So Zoom Lens, because Gastrodon is a very slow Pokémon, it's almost certainly moving after the Pokémon it's attacking, so with Muddy Water, now you get effectively 100% accurate Muddy Waters, which is turning a, 70, I think it's 71% chance to hit both um, into a 100% chance to hit both. So that's effectively a 29% increase in accuracy, which is definitely worth it. And then if you go for Hydro Pump, it's now a 96% chance to hit, which is like very, very good, like better than things like Drill Run and all that. So um, al almost guaranteed accuracy, which is definitely worth it. So either Hydro Pump or Muddy Water with a Zoom Lens would be justifiable. If you are doing that, you probably should be a bit more offensive. So uh, this is just so it's uh, invested reasonably, so it hits that bump, uh, and then just dumped into defense, basically. So no defensive benchmark as such. You're just going to be able to be actually doing damage with your Hydro Pump slash your Muddy Water. Also, it would be remiss of me not to mention this set, because this is also a setup and never be KO'd set, but it also increases your offense, because it doesn't get Calm Mind or anything like that. Its physical attack stat is only a little bit worse than its special attack stat, so you can def definitely get away with running curse. 
You're going to need a couple to actually do damage. But if you've got a couple, that means you're likely not being KO'd on the physical side anymore. So if you do get the curses up, you're probably going to win with the Gastron because you can't be broken quickly enough while it's still doing okay damage. Previously, I would recommend the Fairy, fairy Terra type on pretty much all the Gastrons because then it turns into the Don Dozo counter it is supposed to be. But on this one, you don't have clear smogs, so having fire to resist the uh, grass type attacks that can come your way is probably slightly better. Uh, so yeah, Gastrodon, it's been forgotten about. I'm not sure why. And it's got a slight buff in Helping Hand as well. So it's become even more usable. But no one's using it, even with Dondoza everywhere. I'm not sure why.